Boys and girls, today I'm going to show you how to draw a bunny holding a carrot. The bunny rabbit is standing in a landscape, or the background's a landscape. A landscape is a painting or drawing of outdoor scenery. Um, this is the one I did, and this is the one my four-year-old daughter Lucy Shove colored. So, let's get started. So for this drawing, you are going to start out by drawing the carrot. So. The carrot shape is kind of like a triangle, but it's curved here and here. Then I'm gonna do a zigzag line for the carrot stem. Then I'm going to do an oval here and an oval here. These are gonna represent the bunny rabbit's arms. Then you would go in and erase these lines here. Okay. I'm gonna do the rest with Sharpie so you can see, because I feel like the pencil line you can't see very well. Okay, I'm gonna draw lines on the carrot. Now I am going to do the bunny rabbit's head. So I start here at the middle of the oval and I wrap it around and it is a circle. Then I'm gonna do the bunny rabbit's ears. This ear could be folded down, so I draw a triangle where the point is facing the circle and then I connect it. Okay, now I'm gonna do two oval feet. So I come down here For the oval feet and then I connect it for the body and then I have the bunny rabbit's tail okay now I'm gonna draw a line like this and I'm drawing this is gonna be where the carrots are growing and these are the carrot stems coming out of the dirt And I have them get smaller as they get further away. So I start big at the bottom of the paper where the foreground is, that's the thing closest to you. And then I do medium size, and then I do small. And if I was doing this in pencil, I would erase those lines. They kind of look like crowns. Okay, then I'm gonna do my other hill and I'm gonna do my broccoli tree and house. I start, I do a diagonal line and then I have this line coming out this way so it looks like the trail is getting closer to you or the sidewalk is getting closer to you. Then I could do visual texture in the roof. I could do visual texture for tree bark. I could draw little lines on the bunny to represent fur if I wanted to. And I'll do one more hill. And I could do visual texture on this tree too. I could draw little daisies. And I could do zigzag lines to represent the grass, a cloud in the sky, and a sun with a smiley face. I'm, I'm gonna call it. No. Okay and then you color it. Have fun with it, and I'd love to see what you, what, how your drawings turn out. 